Hello everyone, and welcome to this video where we will be building a simple weather app using Deno and Fresh. This will demonstrate how to make API calls using Fresh and displaying the results in our routes and components. We'll make use of Weather API to fetch the current weather data for cities and display that in our app. So let's take a quick look at what we'll be building. Here we're showing the current weather data for London. We can see the country information, the temperature, the current condition weather, uh, some additional information such as humidity, winds, and if we type in to our input field a different city and hit enter, we see that we get the current weather information for that city. So we're getting the weather for New York. Awesome. The only thing we need is to have Deno installed. Uh, if you don't already have Deno, you can head over to Deno.com and just follow the installation. Other than that, we also need to create a free account on Weather API. So you can head over to weatherapi.com, sign up. This will give you the API key that we'll need to make request uh, to get the current weather information. So to create our fresh project, we'll head over to fresh. We'll go to the documentation, create a project and copy paste that to create our new project. We'll change that to fresh weather, hit enter. It'll ask us if we want to use Tailwind CSS. I'll say yes. And VS code. Yes. This will create a new project. We'll CD into it and type deno task start to confirm that everything is set up properly and we should see our default project with a counter. Now in my editor, uh, first thing I'll do is delete everything that was automatically generated by Fresh. So I will delete the components, islands, API, and name. I will only keep the index TSX routes file. So hit delete. And inside our index, I will remove everything except our return function. So we'll also want to add an image into our static folder to display whenever a city was not found. For that, I just went over to undraw and search for a not found image found one that I liked, downloaded it, and just added it into the static folder, which I will do right now. I will copy it in here. Great. So we're all set to start coding. We'll start by creating a section and a div with some margin padding, a blue background, and as well as centering it using flex. Inside of that, we will create our title, Fresh Weathers, make it large and bold, followed by our input form. We want to set the name to Q. Uh, we'll make use of that when getting the form data to call the weather API later on. So if we hit save and take a look at our page, we should see a blue card with our input form. Okay, now if we go back into VS Code, uh, we will need to import our handlers. Handlers are functions that take in a request and return a response based on HTTP methods. So for our case, we want to execute a handler for each get call to our route. Uh, this handler will call the weather API and pass that data along to our page component. So first thing before creating our handler, we'll want to create a constant where we will store our API key. So you can paste in the your API key that you got from weather's API. So to create a handler, we first need to export a constant, which is called handler. In it, we'll have a custom get handler that takes a request and context as parameters. 
we will get the URL from that request and retrieve the queue parameter, which should be what we entered in our input field. In case it's empty, we'll default it to London. Afterwards, we can make a request to weather API by using fetch. We need to pass two parameters, the query and the key, which is our API key. So replace this API constant with your own API key from weather's API. We'll get the JSON response and console that uh, to make sure that everything's looking good. And finally, we also need to return a response uh, so we can call the render function on our context. So if we hit enter and go to our page and hit refresh, we should see that everything is still exactly the same. But if we take a look into our terminal, we should see an error code. That's because I'm not actually using my API key. So if I go ahead and update it to my actual API key, so with the magic of editing, I just added my API key to that constant, and we can see that we're getting the data from Weather's API. So in my case, I'm getting it for New York's since I have New York as my queue parameter. We have the name, region, country, and the current weather information, such as the temperature in Celsius, Fahrenheit, uh, condition, and some extra information that we'll make use and display in our page. So now next step is to pass that data that we got into our home component. So first we'll need to create some interfaces to store that information in. Uh, I will first create a data information which will be passed to our homes component later on. It will contain a result which would be a weather response or null in the case that the fetch re returned an error. So our weather response will have location, which contained the name and country and the current weather information. So for location, we have name and country. And for the current information, we have temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit, uh, humidity, UV and others as well as weather condition, which contains the icon and the text. Now that our interfaces are ready, we can go ahead and remove these three lines. We are first going to check that the weather response returned a 200 code. If yes, we get the JSON response and map that to our weather response interface. Fresh allows us to add more information to our handler response by passing the data into the render function. This will be available in our page component by making use of the page props interface. In the case where we get a error status code, we will simply return a null as our result. And finally, we need to add to our handlers that we're returning a data response. Now in our home function, we can get that data by making use of the page props. So the only thing left to do is to actually show that data. To keep our HTML from getting messy, I'll create a new private component in this file called weather. Weather will take our data interface that we created above. In the case that our result field is null, we'll return a JSX element showing text saying that the city was not found as well as displaying our image. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and display the location name, the country temperature, the condition text, as well as the condition icon that we got from Weather's API. Following that, we'll display in a two by two grid the additional information, such as the humidity, the UV, wind, and gust. Last step will be to add our weather component in our homes component and pass it the data to it. So if we hit save and head over to our page, we can see that we are actually displaying the weather data for New York. So if I go ahead and remove 
parameter and refresh it, we should see London, which is our default. We should see the temperature, the condition text, as well as the icon, as well as the additional information. And now if I type in a different city, such as Mumbai and hit enter, we should see the information for Mumbai. Now, if I type in some random text and hit enter, we should see city not found as well as our 404 image. So this completes this video where we learned how to make API calls in fresh using handlers and passing that data to our page components. Thanks a lot for watching.